Welcome to my third show me. This one's about horizontal and vertical lines. My students often are confused by the equations of vertical and horizontal lines, especially when they take a look at the pictures. When they think of a horizontal line, they think of something that's parallel to the x-axis, which is right. But then they think that the equation should say something about x. That's not necessarily true. In the same way they struggle with vertical lines, they know that they're parallel to the y-axis, but they're very confused when they realize that the equation doesn't say anything about y. Let's talk about these words, what they mean, and how the pictures work, and see if we can't get more comfortable with the equations and the pictures of horizontal and vertical lines. One thing I've noticed in a lot of my students, many of whom are more urban-oriented kids, kids who may not have lived that much on coasts, or in places where you can see a horizon very often, is that they don't know what the word means. If you're looking over a vast expanse of land or ocean, or even a large body of water, the limit to what you can see in what appears to be a straight line is called a horizon. In your field of vision, the horizon looks like a line going across your field of vision, dividing it into upper and lower parts. The real reason we have a horizon, of course, is that our planet is not flat, it's round. Eventually, the curvature of the Earth forces you to miss some things along its surface. You're going to look in a straight line, but the things that you're looking toward are on the surface of the Earth. Eventually, you won't be able to see them. That last line of stuff that you can actually see as you look across the Earth is the horizon. Here I've got a really good artist's conception of a sunset or sunrise, depending on which way you're facing. The horizontal line is the horizon, that line that cuts your field of vision and cuts the sun, or if you want to look at it that way. Either more of the sun or less of the sun will be visible as time passes. But that dividing line between what you can see and what you can't see is called the horizon. And that line visually is horizontal. When we draw horizontal lines in our graphs, they look like that. As I mentioned earlier, the equations of horizontal lines are matters of some confusion in my classrooms. The equations of horizontal lines look like this, maybe y equals 4 or y equals negative 3. My students are always confused by that, and I think it's because horizontal lines are parallel to the x-axis, and they think that those lines then should say something about x in their equations. Obviously, they don't. But think about it. A horizontal line is restricted in its elevation. Only its vertical number is limited. It has to stay the same throughout the line. I didn't see any restrictions on how far the line could go to the right or to the left in our conception of a horizon. So there's no reason why x has to appear if it's unlimited. It doesn't even have to be in the equation. x can be anything. But for these horizontal lines, y has to be either 4 or negative 3. Let's look at the picture. So for y equals 4, all of the y-coordinates of all of the points on this line have to be 4. So we're out here. At this point, that's negative 3, 4. If we're out here, at this point, that has to be 5, 4. But no matter where you go on this line, the y-coordinate of every point is going to be 4. x can be anything, and that's why it doesn't have to appear in the equation. Works the same way for y equals negative 3. Here's a representation of the line, and everywhere we go, just like before, the y-coordinate has to be as specified. So here, this is negative 3, negative 3. And out here, this is 5, negative 3. That's why the equation of the line is y equals negative 3. Come to think of it, the line that causes all this confusion is the x-axis. And calling it the x-axis, I suppose, is a bit confusing. But it has an equation, too. Everywhere you go on the x-axis, the y value is a certain amount, too. What is the y value for every point on the x-axis? I hope you thought about it a little bit there. I tried to give you some time. Take a look at it. What are the coordinates of this point? 2, 
zero. We didn't go up or down, so the y value is zero. What are the coordinates of this point? Negative three, zero. You know, I think that the equation for the x-axis is y equals zero. There really shouldn't be any confusion now. When we say x-axis, yes, we say the letter x, but it has an equation, and it turns out the equation of the x-axis doesn't have any more x's in it than the equation of any other horizontal line. It's y equals zero. That's the x-axis. So hopefully we've eliminated some of that confusion. I'll spare you any more of my artwork. Take a look at this line. It's a vertical line. Vertical lines don't change. The points on them don't deviate to the right or to the left. Obviously, they can be at any elevation. Those little arrows at the end mean that this line, at least the line as it's represented, goes on forever. So y can be anything, but x has to be a specific value. So the equation of any vertical line is going to be x equals something specific, say x equals 3, or x equals negative 2. Again, my students seem to have some confusion. They know that vertical lines are parallel to the y-axis, but when they hear that the equation of a vertical line doesn't even have a y in it, that throws them off a little bit. Let's see if we can't beat that with another set of pictures. So here's x equals 3. Every point on this line has an x-coordinate of 3. Every one. So this point right here is going to be 4, excuse me, 3, 4. And this point down here is going to be 3, 5, 3, negative 5. In both cases, x is 3. Every point on this line is going to be just like that. So the x-coordinate has to be 3. The same way with x equals negative 2, every coordinate, every x coordinate on this line is going to be negative 2. That's negative 2, 4. And this is negative 2, negative 5. Every point on the line is going to be just like that. So this is x equals negative 2 right here. That's right, when you see x equals, it's always going to be a vertical line. Again, let's take a look at the axis that's vertical. Look at the y-axis. What do all those points have in common? Not their y-coordinates. The y-coordinates can be anything on the y-axis. But the x-coordinates are all zero. This is zero, negative three. And this is zero, two. Wherever you go on the y-axis, x is 0. So that's its equation. x equals 0 is the y-axis. I just think it's the appearance of the letter y in the name that we give it that makes kids think that there has to be a y in the equation. There doesn't. And in fact, there shouldn't be. If an equation, if a formula is not going to limit a variable, then that variable shouldn't appear. Only if the variable is actually going to be controlled in some way by a relationship to another variable should it appear in the equation at all. So to sum up, the word horizontal comes from the word horizon, which has to do with how far we can see along what seems to be a flat surface, but actually on the curvature of the Earth, it's the limit of what we can see. When we see a horizon, we are so small and the Earth so big that it just looks like a horizontal line. And that's why we started calling things that were oriented this way horizontal. The equation of a horizontal line reflects the fact that the line itself never gets any higher or lower, which means that y has to be limited to a specific amount. So any horizontal line, the equation is going to be y equals some fixed number. There won't be anything changeable about this. It's going to stay the same if it's a horizontal line. Vertical lines, then, are always oriented at right angles to horizontal lines. They always make 90 degree angles. The, the equation of a vertical line is going to reflect the fact that x never changes when you're moving along a vertical line. The vertical line can go as high and as low as anybody wants, but it never can deviate from the left or the right. That means that x is limited to a specific fixed value. It's never going to change. 
as long as you're on a vertical line. I hope that helped you beat some of the confusion that my students suffer in class. And if you're one of my students, I hope that helps you beat it too. Thanks for joining me for this show me.